and, and what's interesting is I think it's clear that as we continue to see these leaders throughout history that were able to lead through the harshest of conditions there's a, obviously a lot of common principles that they share and so the question is okay why do we keep reading them then? Mm. <laughs> why do I keep trying to confirm the same things why am I always looking actually for counterpoints as well that offer some kind of different solution like the one about Sun Tzu today you don't need to be early on the battlefield if it's cold out there and it's gonna wear down your troops don't be early but from my perspective the more different angles that you see these things the same the, 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 the more different ways that you learn the same lesson the more clearly you understand it. if you learn an arm lock from three different people they're all gonna give you something different and it's the same thing we get something slightly different from all these strategic thinkers and we get better understanding of it and there are differences in what people say and I think it's good to look at the way those differences manifest themselves on the battlefield and throughout history because maybe there's one solution that's a little bit better than the one that I know right now so for me I'm going to continually try to reinforce, try and fortify, try and stay humble as Sachs talked about, continue to learn and relearn and discard what doesn't work and always try and get better. And I think that's all I've got for tonight. Yeah, I guess it better be. <laughs> I thought this was going to be a quick episode. No, no. All good. No, all right. I guess we should move quickly now. What do you think? Do you agree with me or no? It doesn't sound like it. <laughs> we'll see what up.